this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in this video, we'll be discussing about bathroom lighting. This is episode 2 in our series residential project. In our previous tutorial, we have discussed step by step procedure for making this 3D model of the bathroom. If you are new to my YouTube channel and you haven't watched the tutorial yet, I will share you the link of that video in the description. Let's get started. Every room in a residential project requires good lighting but bathrooms are often neglected. I myself have seen so many projects wherein you know only one downlight is provided at the center of the bathroom and maybe a provision for some mirror light. That's it. Yes, I agree. You may achieve the required lux levels by adding just one downlight in the center of the room but in actual sense is it a good lighting for a bathroom? No. As for the lighting standards, we need 150 lux in the bathrooms and 100 lux in toilets with the uniformity of 0.4. We are going to discuss in detail the bathroom lighting techniques. Bathroom lighting should follow the same layered approach as we follow in other rooms that is ambient lighting, task lighting and ascent lighting. Let's break down this layers further. But before that, let me walk you through the layout of this bathroom. This way is the entry of the bathroom. When I enter the bathroom, straight in front, I have a vanity. Towards the other side, I have a toilet space. And towards the opposite side, I have the shower area. This is the plan representation of the same bathroom. Entrance from here, vanity, toilet and shower. Now, let's discuss about our layers of lighting. We'll be starting with task lighting. What is task lighting? This lighting is a focused illumination that is meant to specifically help you to get a task done. Task lighting is typically around a vanity but you can also find it in your way to the shower to help you with the tasks such as shaving or conditioning. Now in this bathroom the task areas are vanity and shower. Coming to the vanity what is really the task lighting here? This space we are going to use to perform tasks like shaving or maybe it can be used even to apply makeup. The both tasks are being performed in front of the mirror. So your mirror is the focal point here. And our first layer of light with the task lighting, we are going to focus on mirror lighting. For this layer of lighting, we have an option of using wall sconces at the both sides of your mirror. The goal here is to light the face evenly and reduce the shadows that cast on the face by the standard overhead lighting above. Make sure the selection of this fixture, the material of this fixture is frosted or diffuse. It is not glary. The fixture must not be glary. Now, as I said you, our goal here to use this light is that there is a uniform light distribution on the face of the person standing in front of the mirror. Okay, when I say uniform distribution, there are so many considerations you need to make while positioning this wall sconces. In general, a standard height of 1.5 meters is considered good because at this height, you know, the light output, you can, uh, you can see here light distribution curves of this luminaires. The blue lines here are the light distribution curves. Okay. This is the light output of my wall sconces. Placement is such that it is covering the face of this person standing here. I'll show you the side view so that you can understand more clearly. Now see here, this wall sconce is placed at the height of 1.5 meters from the floor level and light is in line with the face of this person. And you can see the light distribution curves. It is covering the whole face of this person. That's the reason you have a uniform distribution of light. Let's check the thermal view. In the mirror though you can see nice, nicely lit face. Let's check how this person is going to view herself in the mirror. This is how the face is visible to that person. It's clear. There is no harsh light or there are no sharp shadows at the face of this person. Let's check the thermal view. Thermal view is nothing but the false color render of your dialogues. And you can see the face is nicely lit with the green false color. Nice distribution of the light. This is what you have to 
achieve for your task lighting if you're using wall sconces now this 1.5 meter height placement is good for the people who are approximately maybe 5 feet or 5 5 feet tall but what if if the person is more tall like say if this person is 6 feet tall then obviously the light distribution is not in line with the face of this person right so it is not going to evenly illuminate the face of this person in the mirror in such cases if you know the height of the person or the or the average height of the people using this bathroom falls in tall range then make sure you are positioning this wall sconces a little bit higher from 1.5 meter maybe 1.6 meter so that you know we have enough illumination at the face of this person now what to do if you don't know the height average height of the people using this bathroom then you have other option of mirror lighting built-in mirror lights for the bathroom vanities they also come with more functionalities like bluetooth you can also change the color temperature of the light which is actually a good feature if the person is using the vanity to apply the makeup the CRI of that light is important CRI is nothing but color rendering index the true colors are visible in the sunlight and sunlight or the natural light is 100 CRI fixtures should be near to that sunlight so that you know the exact color tones are visible to you here is the example of how the face of that person is visible in different CRI of light you can see the difference in the color tone of that same person in different CRI levels when CRI is 90 the excellent it is more natural you can see the color palette everything is in its true form a true color when CRI of your light is 80, it is good, but you can see the slight difference in the color tone of this person. And CRI and lesser CRI, it's bad. Okay, it is it is so much opposite to the CRI of the natural light. What impact does it have? If you're the person who knows makeup, you know that if there are if the skin tone is appearing so much different with the CRI of the light and you're applying makeup maybe you're going to apply more makeup to your face and when you're going out in the natural light the makeup is not going to look perfect okay so the CRI of the light is also very important if you're going to use this vanity space for to apply makeup now our next task lighting is shower area here I have placed one down light with a medium optics exactly at the center of this bathroom so that there is a uniform illumination to my shower space I've shown you the representation of the positioning of the light in this picture now let's view the bathroom from this side here this is my down light placed at the center of the bathroom nicely illuminated I have seen people making this common mistake when it comes to the shower light distribution while you're working in the AutoCAD, maybe you're going to just mark the center of this shower, divide it by four and place two down lights. That's how you do when while working in the AutoCAD. But when you are dividing the lights here, when you're dividing the lights here, maybe your one light is going to be exactly above the shower head. And what happens if your down light is exactly above the shower head? this is what will happen it is going to reflect back the glossiness of the material of your shower head this looks really bad and other thing what it causes is you can see there is a dark patch of the shadow exactly below the shower head which we do not want we need uniform illumination at the space that's the reason I placed only one down light at the center of the shower yes you can use even two down lights here in case the length of this shower is more and you're not achieving the required lux level but make sure you're not going to place the down light above the shower head do not place it exactly above okay let's see both the difference this one is away from the shower head 
uniformly illuminated see the light levels here and this one exactly above the shower head and we have dark patch of shadow and with a hot spot here which is which is not uniform and this this lighting is the image itself is looking much disturbing to me whereas this lighting the image itself is looking more calm to me that is the difference a small mistake of wrong position of down lights can make was about the task lighting layer now let's check our ascent lighting before discussing our ascent lighting layer i'll show you an image look at that image saw this now look at this okay why i interrupted you in middle of our discussion and showed you this image because it's a small example to explain what is ascent lighting when you saw this image you your eyes were not guided to read any specific line or a specific word you were looking at the whole at the whole page okay but when i showed you next image your focus was on this highlighted part of the paragraph right this is what ascent lighting is this is going to be your general illumination and the highlighted one is going to be your ascent lighting the aim of ascent lighting is to draw your attention to important objects in the bathroom it can be used to guide the eye for navigation now now what are the important objects or maybe elements in this bathroom which we can highlight and make it a ascent lighting layer it can be our niches because we have niche detail near the toilet and even in the shower then we have our wash basin itself because this comes with nice finishes and it is near the main focal point of our bathroom that is mirror it is near to our mirror so we can highlight this to wash basins as a layer of ascent lighting then if the space provides you may have extra cove detail in your walls maybe you have cabinetry to highlight or maybe in the entrance you can provide some night lighting so these are different objects wherein we can accentuate this elements with lighting let's see how we can do it let's start with niches this is a niche detail near the toilet i have placed a led strip light in the niche you can see the nice effect the same i have used even at the shower i have placed an ip rated strip light in the niche this was about ascent lighting for the niches next we have wash basins for the wash basins depending on the size of your wash basin often the wash basins are very small or medium sized in your bathrooms so you can use narrow beam angle spotlights exactly above the wash basin as shown here but may make sure the beam angle of this spotlight is very narrow very narrow because we want only this wash basins to be highlighted because of this light the wash basins will have that sparkle effect depending on the finishes of this this lighting is also going to affect how a person is seeing himself or herself in the mirror so the proper positioning of this spotlights are also important now i have placed it exactly above the wash basin very narrow spotlight and this is how the person face is going to be visible though there is some shadow at the forehead of this person but there is no harsh light or no very harsh shadows at the face of this person now next way to accentuate this wash basin is use the adjustable spotlights near the wash basins you can slightly position it little away from the wash basin and then direct it towards wash basin you can tilt it okay make sure our aim here 
our goal here is to only highlight the wash basin it should not have any bad effect at the on how the person is going to see himself or herself in the mirror now see here when i'm placing adjustable spotlight very narrow optic and direct it towards the wash basin this is how it is going to have an impact on the person standing in front of the mirror here too i don't have any harsh shadows or any harsh light falling at the face of this person this is good when i say narrow optics the beam angle of this spotlight is around 9 degrees to 12 degrees the beam angle and the positioning of this spotlight is very important when you're working on this layer because what happens is say here now the positioning is the same okay but the beam angle of the spotlight is not narrow it is medium optics the beam angle is somewhere around say 20 to 30 degrees okay though you can say me that the goal is achieved we are accentuating the wash basin it is having that nice sparkle effect on the wash basin but wait if you are using this medium optics yes i agree it is going to highlight the wash basin but how it is going to impact the person standing in front of the mirror this is a positioning positioning is the right only the beam angle i have changed to medium optics now this is a person standing in front of the mirror when this lights are on you can see how harsh the light is underneath the eye you can see those dark shadows too and this is how a person is going to see himself or herself in the mirror it is too bad too bad why we have that effect because though the positioning is right okay but the optics is medium and it is going to fall at the person's face too and since the light is coming from the top this part of the face is going to be too bright whereas after the highlights will be having sharp shadows at the face of this person see like this one it is very very bad so when you are working at the ascent lighting layer for your wash basin make sure you have selected right beam angle for this spotlights or down lights this is with bad effect and you can see the impact of good lighting the bad one the good one you can see the difference okay so this was about ascent lighting for wash basins next object to accentuate is if you have any detail for cove provision in your bathroom maybe in the walls use that okay it is going to highlight that space it is going to highlight that element and it is also going to highlight the finishes of your bathroom here in the entrance i added some low level lighting detail okay i have placed i have placed strip light here because when you enter this bathroom here i need i need some illumination for navigating inside the bathroom though i could provide some small spotlight or downlight i didn't use it i wanted to have more cozy atmosphere that's the reason i used low level lighting other advantage of using this low level lighting is that say for example maybe in the night you want to use this bathroom and there is no need that you have to switch on all the lights of the bathroom and in the night you don't want to enter in the space which is too bright and active okay that's the reason you can maintain that low level lighting if you're using the washroom at the night though this detail is small but it can be used very wisely next is if you have any storage space or any cabinetry highlight it it also acts as a functional lighting but it also accentuates the space so these are your different elements wherein you can use ascent lighting now our last layer of light is ambient lighting ambient lighting or general lighting as the name suggests it is used for general illumination of lighting in the bathroom now in this bathroom what are the parts we have completed in the lighting 
we have completed the vanity space and we have completed the shower the left out is this is this space here i need general illumination general lighting and if the ceiling provides any cove detail you can use your cove lighting as an ambient lighting layer let's check it out like here in the shower i have provision for ceiling cove and this is the effect of cove lighting the shower it's nice and i added two more down lights here so that i have enough general illumination for this space now this was about general lighting layer let's go to the light scenes one mirror lighting accentuating the wash basins this is the light effect you're going to have when your spotlight above the wash basins and your mirror lighting is on. You can highlight any cabinetry or storage space. Then coming to the toilet, I have cove detail in the wall. Niches. and general illumination with down lights coming to the shower i have ceiling cove niche lighting and one medium optics down light nice illumination now this is all the lights are on We have seen the light scenes. Though this bathroom was single one room, now you see the next images and you can find the difference how this little techniques of lighting is going to make a huge difference in such a small space of bathroom. Observe these images carefully. This is your vanity near the mirror, nicely lit. Then you have your shower space. See the difference. This was your vanity and your shower lighting is also visually dividing or separating your shower space from rest of your bathroom. And then your toilet space. See again the lighting is visually separating your space from the shower and also the vanity. Though all these three are in one same bathroom this is when all the lights of your bathroom are on now next important parameter when it come for selection of this bathroom lighting is that it's ip rating ip rating is ingress protection if you refer any light designing books you may come across different zones of the bathroom and for each zone what are the different ip rated fixtures you have to use making it simple and clear to understand divide this room in three levels like whatever the lights coming on your floor or the lights which are more exposed to the water use the fixture with ip x7 rating so it can be ip67 rated fixtures and then when it comes to the walls you can use the fixtures with ipx5 or you can say ip65 that is your niches can be ip65 rated because it's on walls and maybe there is a probability that since it's in the shower it can be exposed to the water and we don't want any water to enter the to enter in our fixture and damage it that's the reason we use ip rated fixtures and for the ceiling when it comes to the general for the ceiling you can use the fixture with ipx4 rating it can be ip64 or it can be ip54 depending upon where is the placement of that light like if it is in the shower you can use it as ip64 or in the bathroom other areas you can use it as ip54 Recheck the standards if your consultant is specifying the IP rating of these fixtures. So this is it guys in this tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me. Thank you.